This is a TNC, it's a terminal node controller, and this connects to this radio on 2 meters, 145.57 megahertz, and this allows me to do a digital mode called packet, and what the, what the TNC does is it connects between the radio and the computer, and using hyper terminal in Windows, I'm able to connect to the TNC and communicate using the keyboard between other stations. So right now I'm talking with my friend Jim, W1PID, and it's just like a chat room, uh, keyboard to keyboard, but it's not going through the internet, it's going through the radio waves. And the nice thing about the TNC is it has these LED lights and it also has an internal memory so anyone such as Jim could connect to my packet station by typing in a few by typing in a command on the keyboard and he could leave me a message just like an email server and then this LED or one of these LEDs would blink, um, notifying me that I have a message, and then I can connect using my computer to the TNC and download that message, and I can reply to it. So it's a neat, a neat thing, and it's error correcting, so I don't have to worry about characters not going through. It's very, re very reliable and very, very fast. Now, when I send him a message now, I have, I have my HT, this is a VX7R, and it's tuned to the same frequency, so you'll be able to hear what the packet signal sounds like. Um. So that's what it sounds like. And they're just short little bursts of course if you send a longer message it'll be a longer burst but it's very interesting and I don't need much power to talk with Jim because he's only a few miles away so I I run about five watts there's also a terminal node no it's a a packet repeater a digipeater I believe it's called in Guilford so I can connect to many other stations all around the state and you can leapfrog between these different digipeters, so it's very, very handy. Okay. Bye-bye. 7-3. W1JSB. Out.